And Meredith mentioned Lillian Hughes Savage, who was the president when the 10th anniversary came along in 1942. And she was also the president in 1943 when the handbook is released. And I wanted y'all to see Lillian Hughes Savage's face. And in the book, Lillian Hughes Savage talks about um, pledging to do this much needed work of beauty. The work is in our hands, literally black women, we have to do this on our own. World War II is going down at this point. And she says something that I feel like you have to read between the lines. We must carry on and complete this job. We must overbalance ugliness with beauty. Jim Crow is also going on. It ain't just World War II. You know, a lot of Black people, a lot of Black military soldiers are treated much better in Europe at that time than they are treated in their own country. So the fact that she understands balancing the ugliness that's in America with the beauty, the beauty of nature, where there is no judgment, is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And the way that she says that I believe is very, very eloquent. And the fact that she is acknowledging what is going on during that time. And finally, I wanted to, actually it's not finally, I still have um, one more, uh, a few more slides to show you. This is Mrs. Florence Chesson. So do you remember when I said this is PJ Chesson, this is Mr. Purvis J. Chesson, an educator, a principal, one of the four founders. This is his wife, Mrs. Florence Chesson. And yes, she did end up as president of the Garden Club. She also was vice president. And she was also a real inspiration for us to share with you a scrapbook tonight because she was one of those, what they call in the human interest stories, an interesting woman. This woman was active in the NAACP as many of these black women were at the time. She was active in community beautification. She was active in the church. She was active in others' women's clubs and she was active helping children with beautification work. So again, putting names to faces, making these people real, so you know y'all really got it going on when it comes to horticulture in the state of Virginia. And Meredith spoke to the race relations. And I wanna be very clear, these black women didn't form these clubs because they couldn't be in a white club. They're, they're, they love who they are. It is called the Negro Garden Club of Virginia. That is a sign and symbolism of black pride, black power in the sense of economic power community power, power of self-love. And they also are well aware that, hey, we all in this together, we gonna all you know, grow together or it's all gonna burn to the ground together. And so they do have this um, presence of having cordial race relations in the state of Virginia with other communities. And here you see a landscape divine, designer, her name is Nancy Timmons from the Norfolk Botanic Garden. And she is discussing as the headline says, how to plant and prune many beautiful perennial plants for home gardens at the meeting of the Green Hill Farms Garden Club. Um, I also want to say, and I, I won't get into this tonight because you're very well aware in Virginia, the Norfolk Botanic Garden is the garden where the Black women from the WPA, FDR's Work Progress Administration Program, did break ground and start that garden. And we honored them every day we honored them today, and we especially honored them in Black History Month. 